There were no points of reference, either historically, architecturally, ecologically, geographically, or whatever. No mountain, no tree, no nothing. Just a few waterways, lots of waterways. And in this place, the city of Lingang was meant to be built. Three kilometers, then building and promenade. That is almost a floor plan. You could explain that over the phone. You wouldn't even need to sketch that. How do you create a brand new city for 1.3 million people and leave it empty right in the middle? Water. Naturally, Hamburg played a role, but only to the extent that I could show pictures of Hamburg with the Elbe River, with the Alster River, illustrating what qualities water can bring to a city. And then comes a 600-meter-wide green park zone. Green park. And in this green park, no private buildings are permitted, only public buildings. And only then come the residential areas. They always relate to this point. They are all 840 by 840 meters. You can see that this configuration creates something that is all too natural. Restricting that which creates too much density to the periphery. Because the space there is potentially many times larger. And that's how density is reduced and becomes more human. There's always natural space in the spaces in between. No landscape park, just nature. Wood, trees. In the end, good urban spatial quality comes down to one thing, and that is the harmonious balance between variety and unity.